There's a brutal truth that most of us do not want to accept. We have no control over many of the things that happen in life. We fret and we worry about so many things, things that we cannot control. Our worries can keep us preoccupied, but they are, at the end of the day, a waste of time and energy because worry doesn't actually achieve anything. We often say things like, stop worrying, and add, it will all be okay. The truth is, we don't know if it will be okay. So what can we do to try and let go of our worries? I want to suggest five things that may be helpful. First, ask yourself, what can I actually control? When you find yourself worrying, take a minute, pause, and examine the things you have got control over. You can't prevent a storm from coming, but you can prepare for it. You can't control how someone else behaves, but you can control how you react towards them. Sometimes all you can control is your effort and your attitudes. So put energy into the things that you can control. This will be much more effective. The second thing, identify your fears. Ask yourself what you are afraid of. Are you predicting a catastrophic outcome? Do you doubt your ability to cope with disappointment? You see, there's a good chance that you are actually stronger than what you think, because usually the worst case scenario isn't as bad as you might think or envision. But sometimes we are so busy thinking, I can't allow X to happen, that we don't take time to ask ourselves, what would or could I do if X did happen? And so naming your fears and seeing alternatives can help you put more energy into more productive exercises. The third thing, ask yourself, what can I actually influence? You can influence people and circumstances, but you can't force things to go the way that you want. You can give your child all the opportunities possible. You cannot make them take advantage of all those opportunities. To have the most influence, focus on changing your behavior. You can share your opinion, share it just once, but don't try and fix what you cannot fix or the person who doesn't want to be fixed. The fourth thing, the difference between repeating and problem solving. Replaying conversations in your head or imagining catastrophic outcomes over and over isn't helpful. Solving a problem is helpful. So ask yourself whether your thinking is productive. If you are actively solving a problem, keep working on solutions. But if you are wasting time repeating the same old, same old, change the channel in your brain and knowledge that your thoughts aren't productive. Go and do something maybe for a few minutes when you notice you are repeating thoughts to get your brain focused on something more productive and more creative. And finally, the fifth thing, manage your stress. Have healthy affirmations. You know, exercise and eating healthily and good sleep are a few key things we need to take care of ourselves. Make time to manage stress so that you can operate more efficiently. Find healthy stress relievers, things like meditation, being creative or even a hobby. Pay attention to your stress level and notice how you cope with distress. Eliminate unhealthy coping things like drinking too much or being negative or lashing out in anger. And finally, develop healthy affirmations for yourself. 
When you find yourself thinking, I hope that I can cope with this or that, tell yourself, I can handle this or that. So you develop a healthy mantra that can help you. Our little affirmations help us to fight off self-doubt, useless repetitive thoughts, and even sometimes those unrealistic, catastrophic predictions that we make. Find yourself a word or a phrase that can help you and hang on to that word or phrase every time you feel yourself worrying.